Hi, folks. Look who's back. Spidey! <laughs> Right, Spidey's back, man. Hey, it's good to be back. A few nights ago, we... Uh, actually, the movie I held up is called Scarecrows. That's what we're going to be reviewing tonight, Scarecrows, from 1988. There it is, right there. See if I can get that straight. If I get my brain straight, I get this straight. Anyway, this movie came out in 1988, and it's a great little haunted farmland, spooky, scarecrow-type movie. Anyway, before we start everything, you know my routine, you know the shtick. I have to dedicate this webcast to Kerosy as I always do. Babe, I love you. I wish you would contact me or email me or just, oh, Kara, please. I, I miss you so much, hon. Anyway, we actually we did some remodeling here. As you can see where my stupid arm is pointing, we actually lowered the monitor a little bit so you'll be able to see a little bit better uh, the clips I'm going to show you tonight. Uh, of course, here's the webcam right above the, the monitor right here where it's pointing at my beautiful kisser. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yeah! Oh, I'm looking good. Okay. Anyway, we're going to talk about the movie first, and then we'll show you some clips. You know, a few little, a few minutes here and there, just to kind of give you the gist of what this movie's about. So this movie is pretty much, movie is pretty much, let me not fumble my words. <laughs> like I did last, last time I kind of screwed up a death side, so one part, and it's kind of embarrassing. You know, I'm actually quite, I uh, actually am doing this at... 2.30 in the morning, I should be getting ready for bed and showering up and stuff like that. But I decided to do this review because I wanted to get this one out of the way. And, uh, well, anyway, forget about that. That's just a long, that's just another story. <laughs> I'm just delirious right now and demented or whatever. Anyway, the story is uh, pretty much about a bunch of paramilitary uh, individuals who robbed this military bank of $4 million. And, you know, they're dressed up fatigues. I think they might be military personnel. And anyway, what happens is they hijack this plane owned by a father to daughter, and they start to flee towards Mexico. There's like six of these idiots. Oh, they're idiots. They just oh, they land in a nightmare. That's what they do. <laughs> so, so what happens is they, uh, they, uh, they're, they're fleeing. There's everybody's after them. There's, you know, military officials after them. There's federal ag agents after them. Everybody's after them because they want the money back. The federal government does not take kindly to being robbed, you know, especially on a military base. And so they uh, they basically hijack this plane, this cargo plane, small cargo plane, and they start to head towards Mexico. Or, or Mexico. Of course, they decide that there there's too many people in hot pursuit of them, so they decide to land somewhere in some farmland area. I'm not sure what state it would be. It doesn't make any difference, does it? And what they don't realize is they they're all dead. <laughs> they're going to be dead. So what they do is they land the plane. Well, actually, before they land the plane, one of the guys, one of the military people on board the plane, he parachutes out of the plane. This is how the story starts, really. And he takes all the money with him. He parachutes and he, he tries to screw his uh, partners, you know, stab him in the back by stealing the money. Of course, he ends up parachuting down into this haunted farmland. There's farm, whatever you want to call it. And of course... Of course, the money's down there, and he's uh, he's he basically lands in a tree, and he's all screwed up. He's you know he's he's well, I mean he it's a rough landing basically. The, you see clips of this movie, you know if you actually watch this movie, you see exactly what we're talking about. Anyway, he's actually inside the perimeter of the farm, you know the haunted farm, uh, with the corn all the corn rows and all the all the you know the it's it's basically a corn farm. <laughs> it's just. just it's actually a pretty cool movie, folks. It's actually a pretty cool movie. It's very creepy. And so, of course, the plane is circling around. They actually have uh, night vision goggles and stuff like that. And they can see him from the plane up in the, and they're up, in, you know, whatever, a thousand feet. They can see him down there in the cornfield, you know, where he actually parachuted down. So he's basically, uh, he's actually screwed. He's going to be dead with about 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, maybe. And, of course, the plane lands, and the rest of the crew, basically, you know, they get out, you know, they, they get inside the farmland, the perimeter, the gates and everything, whatever you want to call the farm. And they're screwed, too, because they just entered uh, no man's land, basically. Once you get inside that farm, around the fence, inside the perimeter of the farm, you're dead if you don't get out right away because they don't realize that there's hundreds of scarecrows perched up on crosses and stuff scattered throughout the entire, entire farm and it's basically was a actually the story really is really about a bunch a bunch of satanists a family satanists really owned that farm and they used to fucking kill excuse the language used to kill people constantly and turn them into scarecrows so basically after they died so 
they wanted, air, including themselves, they protect the farm from intruders and stuff like that. And uh, it's very creepy. There's hundreds of these scarecrows. You cannot escape them. You know, uh, once you're inside the perimeter, you are dead. They will kill you, gut you, and turn you into another member of the of their scarecrow army to protect the farm. And there's hundreds of these things. It's it's really weird, man. Every time you turn your head, there's one perched up on a on a, a cross somewhere. Uh, you know, in the middle of a, the cornfield or on a road going through the cornfield or something like that. It's very creepy. So what happens? <clears throat> The rest of the members get inside uh, the farm, of course, the, the perimeter, and they find the abandoned farmhouse, and, you know, everything starts to come to life. See, once the scarecrows know that you are inside their territory, they turn everything on. The lights in the house, even though it's been abandoned for 40, 50 years, uh, the generators powering everything in the farm, it, everything turns on. Even though it's like 50 years old, it's all decrepit and it's all beaten down looking and everything. So the rest of the members don't think too much of it. You know, they, oh, there's lights inside the house. Let's, so they use that as their uh, base of operations to try to find this creep that's uh, wandering through the uh, cornfields with all their all their goddamn money. They're pissed off, man, because he basically screwed them and stuck them in the back. And he when he hide, you know, jumped out of the plane and it took the money with him, you know, back, basically backstabbed them. So let's do this. Let's watch a clip here and... We'll add some sound to it, see what happens. Oh my God, it's really a great uh, movie, folks. Uh, what they don't realize is, let's watch the clip first. There it is. See, he found the money now. This is the guy that hijacked out of the plane. He found the money. But he doesn't realize that he's going to be dead. He's actually going to be stuffed with the money in his belly. Because they're gonna, one of the scarecrows is actually going to cut him open, kill him, and he's going to gut him and stuff him full of money. Because that's all that's get these uh, paramilitary uh, bank robbers love is the money. See, he's already dead. He doesn't even realize. See, the scarecrows aren't even on their crosses. They're already walking around, stalking, around, stalking him and just looking to kill him the minute. He's going to get killed in a couple minutes. He's got the money. He thinks he's, he's scot-free. He's going to get away, but he's not going to get away, folks. He's the first victim. See, you can listen to soundtracks. Pretty creepy. This is the it's filmed at night, which is really nice. It's really atmospheric, and it has a lot of great little creepy uh, scare tactics. See, there's the plane. The plane hasn't landed yet. There he is. Okay, we'll just talk about the. We'll get back to that a couple of guys. Okay. So anyway, that's really the beginning of the movie where the plane is actually before it lands and before they actually go. Like I explained to you, they go into the farm and inside the abandoned farm house to set up uh, their their operations, trying to find the guy somewhere in the in the farm area with all their money. So basically, the movie just kind of goes along, and each one of these guys gets get killed. There's actually a woman involved, too, a, a paramilitary military type woman, uh, bank robber, we want to call her. She basically gets killed, too. Everybody gets killed in this movie except the young uh, girl that was part of the, her and her father owned that plane that uh, the param paramilitary bank robbers hijacked. So what I like about this movie, folks, is this movie is... It's it's got a great soundtrack and it's really creepy looking. I mean, it's all filmed at night. It's just got really nice lighting and everything. You can, I mean, whoever did this movie did a great job in this movie. It's very very well done. I, I would probably rate this movie fairly high. That's the reason it's in my collection. Like I've explained before, these movies are in my collection for a certain reason. They seem to they seem to say things to me. They seem to basically bring out certain things to me. I just like the way these movies are done. They're, it's a low budget movie, this one, but it's so well done that it's extremely effective in every aspect, you know, from, from writing to acting, uh, to the soundtrack, you know, to, uh, cinematography, everything is really well done in this movie. Now, as I talked a couple of nights ago about, uh, you know, Dead Silence, that was another one that I actually thought was pretty damn good. And I did recommend that to everybody and you should put that in your collection. Now, this movie you should actually put in your collection too. Now, you know, there's the, there's the cover. Now, this came out in 1988. 
maybe 20, see, figure 2016 right now, so it's about 20, maybe 28 years ago, something like that. 98, 2008, yeah, maybe 28 years ago. And uh, this movie is so well done, so well done. I do like scarecrow type movies, you know, and, you know, uh, evil clown movies and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> you know. These kind of movies just appeal to me. It's like talking like Night, Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, other kind of dark, creepy, in you know, just small independent movies really do it for me, especially in these horror movies, because I think they actually do a better job than the big budget movies that you see on at the theaters nowadays, at the cinema plexes and stuff like that. I these movies are far more fun to watch. I just think they're much more uh, they're 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 done way better, I think. You know, they have a small budget. You know, they, they find actors that you actually know their faces, but you really can't remember what their names are. But that's the same thing with this movie. You basically, oh, God, I, I remember that guy. You know, he was the Ted, Ver, Ted Vernon. He was in that, you know, like that kind of stuff. You, you recognize the people in this, mo these mo in this movie. And, you know, that's, that's what makes this movie so effective. They don't need big billion dollar budget actors to make these movies work and uh i can't think of the guy's name who did this movie i can't i gotta go find out who did this movie oh it's very good it's a very good movie but anyway th that's pretty much what the story is about you know it's once you're inside this farmland you're screwed if you don't get out right away in the, the scarecrows come to life once it turns dark and you're you're fucked you know you become part of their army like i said just a couple minutes ago and you have no choice you know you're you're just you're basically killed and you're you're used as part of their uh, army their militia whatever you want to call it the satanists of uh, the family owned the uh, farmland their their new militia to guard the, the property and everything like that so it's you have to excuse me. I'm doing this at two o'clock in the morning. I'm a little tired, but you know, I'm I'm trying to give you kind of an idea. Should we watch another clip? Should we? Okay, let's watch another clip. Let's turn this. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's good. That's a good scene. Okay, let's watch this one. Thank you. See the scarecrow's talking all kinds of weird voices. This guy, this guy's hallucinating. He thinks the guy who stole the money. He thinks basically that uh, one of the other militia members are talking to him. It's not him. It's actually the scarecrows because they just drive you psychologically nuts, man. Before they kill you. See. He's dead. <laughs> oh, I love this movie, man. This movie is so well done, folks. It really is a very well done horror movie. You know, all these other members of this uh, bank robbing team are, are just completely dead. You know, what reminds me of this movie is that it, it's almost like they were destined to fall into this uh, nightmare when, you know, because their plane had to go down to get away from the authorities and stuff like that. So they basically landed in the worst spot they possibly could have landed <laughs> right next to this haunted farm. You know, it's almost like it kind of kind of reminds me of a Twilight Zone episode or a Night Gallery episode where where you're drawn, you know, <sighs> You're screwed. It's if you've done something really bad in life, this is your fate, and this is what their fate is: is paying the ultimate price for being a bunch of killers, bank robbers. You know, they're repentless basically, and they're a bunch of assholes, and they got exactly what they deserved. Even though it's it's pretty grisly, it's got a lot of grisly scenes in it. it you know, but you really can't see that much. You know, they kind of keep it more subtle, but you, you can see people getting stabbed and, you know, gutted and stuffed with money. Like that guy got stuffed with money, you know, because the scarecrow is considered these people completely greedy. So they, instead of just, uh, you know, killing them and leave them, you know, turn them into a scarecrow, they basically just stuff them full of money and then turn them into a scarecrow. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's your that's your fate. That's your penalty for being a complete asshole in life and, and uh, you know, betraying your partners when you rob the bank and stuff like that, you know. So, but basically, that's pretty much what the story is about, folks. 
it, it's not it's not an overly complicated story. It's a pretty basic storyline, but it does have a lot of things that I do like in movies, like I explained before. You know, it seems to just uh, I like these kind of movies because I just think these movies are just, like I said before, it's just more effective than the big Hollywood blockbusters that you see nowadays, you know, on the big cineplexes, like I mentioned about five minutes ago. I think these movies, that's why they're in my collection, like Dead Silence, Tales from the Crypt movies, uh, this movie, and a whole bunch of other movies I'm going to review in the very near future for you. Okay, we got about, oh, how much time we got here? Oh, we got about five minutes left, so we got to kind of hurry this up. So, my rating on this movie is going to be fairly high. I don't know if I want to explain any more scenes of this movie because I think you should just go buy this movie or rent this movie or put it in your collection. You know, go go to Netflix and pick it up or something. You know, have it mailed here or something. I don't know. It's worth having in your collection. If you're a movie buff like me, you will definitely put this in your collection, especially a horror movie buff like myself. This movie just fits perfectly in all my collection. I have lots of evil dead clown movies, you know, zombie movies, you know, uh, demon movies, uh, scarecrow movies, you know, stuff like that. I just love stuff like that. I, I don't care about the big budget. I just love a movie that just kind of like gets, just digs itself into my, my soul. You know, these, these movies just dig themselves into my soul. And I, I watch these movies over and over again, sort of like the Ice Cream Man with Clint Howard and stuff like that. I love that movie. That movie is a classic. I love that. We talked about that a while back, so I don't have to talk about that anymore. But anyway, I'm going to give this an 8 rating out of 10 spider webs because, trust me, folks, what is the time we got? When I tell you about a movie, you should actually just take it to heart. I think I'm a pretty good judge of movies, especially horror movies and stuff like that. I've been re reviewing for the last six, seven, eight months. Um, actually, I tell you the truth. If there's good points or bad points to the movie, I don't, uh, I don't sit there and, uh, you know, sugarcoat anything. I'll tell you exactly what I think about the movie. And if I review this movie, give it a good review. It's worth having in your collection. Don't, don't listen to anybody else. Listen to what I'm telling you, plain and simple. You know, if you're into this kind of stuff, it's worth having in your collection. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna give this an eight out of ten skull uh, spider webs because it's well worth it. There we go. Yes. Now, I'm not gonna show you any more scenes. Oh, I don't know. Should we show you? Oh, show you just a couple more minutes. Okay, we'll show you one more scene. I think you get the idea what this movie's kind of about. Okay, let's flip the camera around and check it out. It's really hard to see. Like I said, it's filmed at night. So you got nothing but nighttime shots. There's the leader, anyway, of the uh, military uh, bank robbing team, or you want to call them. I don't know what you want to call them. <laughs> see, all the scarecrows are all lined up. They're, they're everywhere, folks. These people are barricaded. And they're screwed. They're fucked. They're already dead, and they don't even know it. <laughs> they will be dead. Oh, oh, that's creepy. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> anyway, I only got a couple more minutes left in this review. So anyway, like I said, I'm not going to show you every little scene. I'm not going to explain every little aspect of the movie, every little scene that, you know, kind of gives away certain elements of it. You'll enjoy this movie completely, as I've explained to you 8,000 million, 100 times already. Did I say 800,000 million times? Something like that. <laughs> anyway, we got some new, uh, some really good movies coming up really soon here. And uh, this is just one of many thousands of movies in my collection that I just have to review because it's, uh, it's it just has to have a review by me because I want to kind of give it justice, do it, give it this due uh, respect as just, you know, injustice and stuff. So, did I say that? I don't even know what the fuck I just said. <laughs> It's too late in the morning. For, it's already 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm babbling on. Anyway, I'm going to end this one, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Like I said, check this movie out, judge for yourself, and I think you'll agree with my review. It's that simple. Don't you think I'm kind of looking good here tonight, folks? All the ladies love me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually, I had turned the sound up a little bit on... Uh, on uh, on my uh, stereo so you could actually hear a little bit better. I noticed in the last 
a uh, couple of reviews. The sound was a little bit low on the movie uh, on uh, when you're watching the clips and stuff like that. So I basically kind of turned it up a little bit to kind of, I'm kind of getting better and better at showing these clips with the sound at the right volume and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this review and we got some really good reviews coming up very soon. And like I said, movies that I think are worth having in your collection. In your collection. Mine too. Yours also. So until next time, we will see you at the movies. Did they, Was that Roger Ebert's line or something like that? We'll see you at the movies. Okay, we'll see you next time. You guys take care and listen to what I'm telling you. Bye now.